Hello, my name is Dr. Wade Goodall, and I'm continuing the series in our devotionals on the Spirit-Led Life, and I want to talk to you about one of the areas that I feel like the enemy attacks us in most, and how the Holy Spirit can help us and convince us of who we are in Christ. Remember that the Holy Spirit lives inside of you as a Christian. You are temples of the Holy Spirit, and so when we give our life to Christ, the Holy Spirit actually invades our life immediately. And he's there to help us display the fruit of the Spirit and treat people with kindness and compassion and goodness. But today I want to talk about you and your self-image. And this is a huge giant. And as I've been studying the life of David recently and reading through many of the verses about his life, what he did, how he acted, he had a heart that was after God. Oh yeah, he made a lot of mistakes for sure. But God forgave him because of his heart. He sought the Lord. When he sinned or made a terrible mistake, he went to God and asked for forgiveness, and he got his life right with God. So let's talk about this giant that tends to attack our self-image and who we are in Christ. And so there is one giant that I'll call the giant of you're not worthy. You don't deserve anything because, after all, look at your life, look at your past, look at your abilities. And David's brother was, was speaking to him about the giant. And he said, he used words to attack David. And he said, I know your presumption and, and you think that you can do this, but you aren't worthy. You can't do this. Who do you think you are, David? His very own brother said that to him. But the Holy Spirit inside of us, if we listen to his voice and we study the scripture, he will tell us this, that Christ has made us worthy. It isn't what we have done. It's what Christ has done for us on the cross when he suffered and died for us, and we are certainly worthy because he gave his very life for us. And also he forgives us all of all of our sins on the cross. So sometimes we look back of our life and we say, well, we're not worthy. Look at what we've done in our life. Look at the things that are like, oh, I don't even want to bring it up. Those kind of things. But Christ covers all of our sins with his blood. So you have been forgiven, you are worthy, and you have been qualified to be a child of God. So if you're a child of God, and the Bible tells us in Colossians that there is no accusations against you. So there's not only forgiveness, and you're a child of God, and you have God's blessings on your life, but you certainly are worthy because Christ gave his everything for you, specifically you. The second giant that attacks us that reminds me of the story of the giant that David up went up against in, in the scripture. And this giant says, you know, works through the words of, of Saul. And, and David said, I can do this. You know, but Saul said, no way. His brother said, no way. You're going to sit on the bench. We need someone bigger and better to do this. Well, God chose David. And David also had experience as this ruddy, handsome little boy that raised sheep. And, and, and the, he was a shepherd. And I can imagine that there was a lion and a bear that the scripture tells us that David killed with his sling. So while everyone else thought he couldn't do this, David knew with God's help, he could. And so Christ gives us our ability. He makes us competent, the Bible tells us, to do everything that God has asked us to do. So no matter what you're facing today, God will help you win. The Lord will help you win. Give him the credit, give him the glory and trust in him. It's Jesus Christ who gives you the strength to do all that we can do. I can do all things in Christ who gives me strength, wrote the Apostle Paul. And the third giant that seems to attack us in our self-image is the giant of you're not blessed. Uh, you're not like other people. You're not like this pastor or someone else. And they, that the truth is you are absolutely blessed. You're a child of God, and I want you to say right now, I am blessed. I am blessed. God is blessing your life. He's working ahead of you right now before you get into your future. He's already there. He's in tomorrow before you realize, before you get there. God is working out relationships. He's giving you favor. He enters into rooms where your enemy is, and he makes your enemy your friends. Trust God to bless you. Don't listen to that doubt saying, you're not blessed, you're not worthy, you're not able. All those kinds of demonic kinds of thoughts that come to our minds, they're just plain wrong. 
in their lives, God sees your potential and, he, and, the, and the devil wants to slow you down. And so the scripture tells us this, that David said, on this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you down and cut off your head. That's what David said to the giant. So whatever doubt you're facing, let the Holy Spirit speak to you. He's speaking to you words of encouragement. He's taking away doubt. He wants you to believe him, but we have to listen. Lots of noise in this world, lots of fears, lots of times when we're watching the news or looking at it in different ways, social networking, we can get so discouraged. Avoid that stuff. Read your Bible, pray, trust God, and let the Holy Spirit speak to you about how well you can do, how God views you. You can do all things through Christ that gives you strength, the Holy Spirit tells you. God bless you. Lord, bless my friend today. Give them favor in everything they do. Give them rapport. Help them make friends. Bless their life and surprise them with supernatural peace and presence and bless them in every way. In Jesus' name, amen.